Hi yogis, welcome to Yoga Merge. My name is Kim and I'm gonna be guiding you through a 20 minute restorative class using a couple props, yoga blocks, yoga strap. This is gonna be a great class, just to unwind from your day and totally get ready for bed, relax, relax your mind, relax your body. And the great thing with these poses, we're gonna be holding them for a little longer so you are really gonna get into those joints and just try to loosen up before we head to bed. So a great way just to start relaxing the body is through our breath. So we're gonna start off with something called nostril breathing. I want you to bring your thumb and middle finger out. Your index finger kind of tends to point out. I want you to seal your right nostril and slowly take an inhale in through your left nostril. Then seal your left nostril and breathe out through your right. Breathe in through the right. Seal the right side and breathe out through the left. Breathe in through the left. Seal the left side, breathe out through the right. Breathe in through the right. Seal the right and breathe out through the left. We're gonna do a couple more cycles here. And this breathing is just a really good way to calm the mind and calm the body. So anytime you're having a hard time falling asleep, you know, those restless nights, you could try this breath while you're lying in bed. By focusing on your breath, you're focusing on the present moment. So it should stop your mind from wandering. Let's do one more round. Breathe in through your left nostril. Seal the left nostril, breathe out through the right. Seal the right side and out through the left. And then bring your hands down to the top, tops of your legs and grab your yoga strap. If you don't have a yoga strap, uh, another thing you could use is the straps that you use to tie up your bags, or not your bags, but your yoga mats when you're traveling to and from the yoga studio. And then swing your legs out in front and bring your soles of your feet to touch. We're gonna go into Supta Baddha Konasana with the assistance of the yoga strap. So thread the strap through the little belt loop, pull it tight, fold it back so that you could pull the strap a little closer if you need to tighten it. And then slowly lower your body down to the mat. And if you feel you could have a little more tension, just pull your strap. And the idea is it's gonna open up your hips a little bit more, bringing your knees a little closer down to your mat. And then just lengthen your arms long, bring your palms up towards the sky roll your shoulders down your back and then just let your body let your head just sink into your mat you could close your eyes here if that feels right to you and then just focus on your breath we're going to hold this for a few breaths slowly inhaling in through your nose and exhaling out through your nose Just let your body sink into your mat here and feel your hips begin to open. And if you wanna feel a little bit more of an opening, you could always just pull your strap a little bit more. And just breathe into the pose.
Let's take one more cycle of breath here in through your nose. And then while you're still lying down, you could release the yoga strap. And then push up into seated position. Release your feet. You can pull it up over your head, crawl out of it, whatever works for you. And then next I want you to grab your yoga blocks. If you don't have yoga blocks, you could always roll up a towel or a blanket, or even if you have any bolsters, you could use those. We're gonna go into a supported fish pose. So place your first block right at your shoulder blades. And then slowly lower your body down on top of the black. A lot of times people tend to bring it a little too low because it feels good there, but it's not really serving its purpose. We really want to open up the chest, the thoracic spine. So I have my block this way. If this is a little too much for you, you could always lie it flat. And if you want more, you could always bring it up all the way to the top. And then you're gonna exhale and come back, bringing your head down towards your mat. I personally find this a little bit uncomfortable. So here you could take your second block and then place it under your head, just to support your head a little bit. It takes a little bit of stress uh, out of your cervical spine or out of your neck. And then just roll your shoulders back, opening up your chest and just relax. When you breathe in, really feel an opening and expansion in your lungs and the front side of your body. Throughout our day, we tend to do a lot of sitting, watching TV, at the computers, driving, and with that sitting, we tend to roll our shoulders forward. So this is a great way just to really open up your shoulders, get them in a position opposite to what they tend to be throughout the day. I'm going to take three more cycles of breath here. And then on your next inhale, you could plant your palms down to your side and then slowly push yourself up into a seated position. And then just take your one block off to the side. We're still gonna use one of the blocks. This time we're gonna go into a supported bridge pose. So lying on your back, lift your hips off the ground and place your block right in your sacral area. So this might sound a little funny, but it's basically at the top of your butt crack. So, and then release your legs long to the edges of your mat. Here you should feel a really nice opening in the front of your hips. Lengthen your arms long to your side, palms up towards the sky. Once again, if this is too much of a stretch for you, you could always bring your block all the way down to the lowest level. And then if you want a bit more of a, like a, a, more of a stretch, you could bring it up all the way to the top. So as I've said, just find whatever feels good to you. I want you to find a nice relaxing pose that's releasing some tension. And 
And then focus on your breath here, taking slow inhales in through your nose and out through your mouth. Just unwind here as you get yourself ready for bed. We're gonna hold it here for three more breaths. Take an inhale in through your nose and exhale out through your nose. On your next inhale, plant your feet into your mat and then lift your hips up so you can pull your block out. And then roll over onto your side and push up into a seated position. If you have a little more flexibility here, you might not want to use your strap. If you are a little tighter, just have your strap long like this. On your inhale, you're gonna bring your arms up overhead and on your exhale, you're gonna fold forward. So if you are a little tighter, you could put the strap at the bottom of your feet and then just pull on the strap a little bit. Bringing your chest a little closer to your thighs. If you are more flexible, you could take your block and put it at the bottom of your feet and then grab to the edge of the block. This is just gonna bring you a little bit more deeper into the pose. My hamstrings are a little bit tighter, so I'm just gonna use the strap. And here you just wanna let gravity kind of take its course and then let your body just sink towards your legs. You don't have to pull too much Relax your head and neck down. You should feel a nice stretch in your lower back and in your hamstrings. Hold this here for three more breaths. And then on your next inhale, come up nice and slow. We're gonna use your strap this time, so Thread it through the loops and just make a small hole so you could stick your foot through there. Just like that. And then roll down onto your back. We're going to do another hamstring stretch. On your inhale, bring your right leg up and loop the strap through. Left leg's long, just nice and relaxed. Hips are on the mat. And you're just gonna gently pull on the strap, bringing your toes a little bit closer towards your head. And then just hold here and breathe. On your next inhale, bring your right foot out to the side about 20 degrees and then pull your foot back towards your face. And here you should feel a little bit more stretch on the inside of your hamstring. We'll hold it here for two more breaths.
Then on your next inhale, bring your foot in towards the midline of your body and then your toes back towards your face once again. This time you should feel a stretch a little bit more on the outside of your leg or hamstring. You may have to play around with it on this side a little bit. People tend to feel a bit more of a stretch in the calf. So if that's the case, just point your flex your toes or adjust the foot a little bit. But the aim is to feel it on the outside of the hamstring here. One more cycle of breath. And then on your exhale, bring your right foot down and then switch out the strap. Placing your left foot in the strap, right leg lengthens long. And once again, just giving a little tug on the strap and getting a little bit more of an opening in your hamstring. If you wrap the strap around your hand, you don't have to pull with your biceps as much. And you could close your eyes here. Just begin to feel your body soften. Feel a little more opening in your hamstrings. And then to even out what we did on the right side, we're gonna bring your left foot out towards the left a little bit more, about 20 degrees, feeling a nice stretch more towards the inner side of the back of the leg. And then bring your leg inward towards your midline. Feeling a nice stretch on the outer side of the hamstring on the left side. We'll hold this for two more breaths. Inhale, come back to the middle and then exhale, release. And then once again, you can roll over onto your side Come up into seated position and grab one of your blocks. We're gonna finish before we go into Shavasana with a supported shoulder stand. If you want, you could also go up to the wall and put your feet up against the wall. It's called feet up the wall pose. Which, or with your block, supported shoulder stand, you're gonna place it under your sacral area, just like we did with supported bridge. But this time, you're just gonna bring your feet up towards the sky. And just hang out here, palms up toward the sky, and just relax. This is a great pose to do at the very end of your day. We spend how many hours on our feet throughout the day? And just hanging out here is, you know, just letting the circulation flow through our legs. If we have any swelling in our feet, helps with that. And we'll just hold this for about three more breaths. And after your last cycle of breath here, slowly lower your legs down. And bring your block out from underneath you. Place it off to the side. And then lengthen your legs long. Take a deep inhale. And on your exhale, get ready for Shavasana, corpse pose. 
Moment of stillness. Turn your palms up toward the sky. Let your feet just flop out to the side of your mat. Let your head sink in towards your mat. And just breathe here. Just try to keep your body in that nice, relaxed state. That you could carry over and just get ready to end your day, end your evening, and get ready for bed. And then slowly begin to waken the body just a little by deepening your breath, wiggling your fingers and toes, hug your knees into your chest, and then roll over onto your right side into fetal position. Then push yourself up all the way into seated position. Bring your hands to heart center, keeping your eyes closed. Take an inhale, bring your hands to your third eye center, the seat right between your eyebrows. Take a deep inhale. And on your exhale, seal in your practice, bowing forward. The teacher in me honors and seeks the teacher in each and every one of you. Thank you for letting me guide you through your practice. Namaste.